Hey guys, it's Anjali and I'm back at it again with another video. I've been working on it, putting in overtime, putting in I haven't done a video in like a month, but that's mostly because I've been sleeping this whole summer. You can't blame me. And right now, my whole everything is probably different because I was forcibly removed out of my house, out of my bed, out of the Wi-Fi, and now I have to nature, and it's so, oh my gosh. And now I'm here at some park, sitting, and there's the wind. Yeah, and you can hear like birds, and there's like grass all over the place, like, ugh, like where am I? Like, but since a couple days ago, it was my anniversary of being vegan. I was going to make a video, but then I was like, mm, I can make this video or I can go to sleep. As you can see, I chose sleep. So, so yeah. But I'll just give you some facts and the reason why I am vegan. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Okay, let's get the video started. So, as of the 4th of July, I have been vegan for one year. And throughout my veganism, I've had some slip-ups here and there. Like the very first week I became vegan, I ate honey. And as I was eating honey and like my oatmeal or something, I was like eating it. I was like, wait, is honey vegan? So I look it up and it said no. I was like, oh, am I a vegan? I'm not, am I not a vegan now? Oh, this is, oh, this is, <laughs> this is, this is bad. And I think I have like a number of like three. Oh, this one got really nice now. Yeah. I had a total of like three slip ups where I've like done something that like ate something that was not vegan. Just recently I went over like to sleep over at my friend Maddie's house and I was eating some chips. And as I was eating them, I was like, wait, I haven't read the bag and I look over on the bag and it has milk in it. I'm just like, Oh I'm not doing this well, am I? I'm not being a good vegan, am I? But like that was actually recently and just because you have like little slip ups it doesn't mean like you're not vegan. Everybody has slip ups. It just means that you're trying. Yeah, I got that from Tumblr. The reason I am vegan is because I remember it very, very, like, very, very, um, how I say this? Like it was yesterday. Um, I did it on the 4th of July, but it was like 3 o'clock in the morning and I was sitting down and I was eating M&M's. I remember I was like eating M&M's and I was like thinking, I was like, why? I should, I don't know why I'm doing this. I need to be vegan. I need to. I need to stop doing what I'm doing and make the next step because I was already vegetarian. So I was like, you know, I'm going to be vegan. And to that day on, since 4th of July last year, I was vegan too now. Yes. And uh, the most the, the most reason I became vegan is because of um, Freely the Banana Girl. I'm subscribed to her. And I remember watching her videos before I was vegan. And I will always say, you know what, she's she's so mean, she's always talking about people, always trying to tell people how to live their lives, um, always talking about what they eat, people should do what they want, people should be able to eat what they want, and I still believe that, you know? I still believe that people should eat what they want, but like, you know, like veganism is the healthier choice, and it's it's better for the planet, it's better for the animals, and it's better for you. I am vegan, but I still find myself, you know, still learning like new things about veganism. Just the other day, I was watching like an interview with, um, his name's Gar Gary Yavosky or something like that. I'll link it down in the description, the link to the video. And he was like having an interview with a, a meat eating like reporter or news reporter or whatever. And they were like having like kind of like a dispute or whatever, like a kind of controversial like talk about it and he was saying like facts about like veganism and I found myself thinking like, whoa I did not even know this and this made me happy like proud more proud to be vegan than I already am um talked about how humans are not actually meant to be vegan I mean meant to be like meat eaters they're meant to be like meat I mean like uh how do I say this Humans are not meant to be meat eaters. They're meant to only eat vegetables and like fruits and stuff like that. There's a wasp, oh my God. Our bodies are not meant to eat meat. And uh, he was saying all this stuff about like, um, you know, if you're, if you're a meat eater or if you're like born to eat meat, then your mouth would go up and down, rip and swallow. And if your mouth goes side to side when you chew, like humans, then you're, um, you're herbivore. And then you're meant to eat, like, you know, plants. And um, other thing that like really like 
was like, wow, oh, that's so true, is if you put a baby in a crib um, with a bunny and an apple, um, since um, humans have a caring, you know, instinct and not like a predator instinct, it's gonna, it's not gonna kill the bunny and play with the apple. Instead, because of our caring nature and our non-predatorial, like, um, kind of like characteristics, it's gonna, it's not gonna, it's gonna play with the bunny and then eat the apple. But if it was a predator, like if you put a lion in a in a crib with a bunny and a apple, it's probably gonna kill the bunny and then play with the apple because like it. It's natural to them. It's predatorial. And humans are not predatorial. Meat eating is the leading cause of uh, deforestation, air pollution, and diseases in the human body. So, cancers, diabetes, heart diseases can be caused by meat and dairy products. Yes. Also, it's ca causing deforestation. If you didn't know to actually raise animals and have them in large like fields or whatever you have to knock down trees and uh, as you can tell nature is beautiful and we kind of need trees so we can like live and stuff like that and whatever but like we like whatever like we don't need trees like we don't need them, but we do so knocking down trees is is bad and using and using that like space for animals is even worse Meat eating is actually one of the greatest causes of world hunger. And I learned that, I did not know that, but I just learned that. We're actually taking the food that we should be feeding to the mass over like uh, overseas who like need the food. We're feeding that food to the animals when we should be feeding it to our people, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. So like, we're kind of feeding our food, our food, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here's a quote that I try to live by because I really like how it sounds. It's, my body will not be a graveyard, it will be a garden. And just saying, you know, you are consuming flesh of the of a dead animal. And, you know, when it's dead goes into like the ground or whatever, it becomes a graveyard. And I consume like plants and like stuff like that. So my, my body is a garden, I guess. My body is a garden. I'm a garden, yes, oh my gosh. As I was watching a video yesterday, you know, I realized people try to use people's, other people's compassion against them. And I tend to do this a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I do this a lot, but I don't wanna do it anymore because I feel like if you are, wasp, 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 eh, eh. I feel like if you are vegetarian, and I have vegetarian friends, um, then you are contributing to helping the world. If you are pescatarian, you only eat fish, then you are contributing to helping the world. If you don't, if you eat all the meat except for pork, then you're still contributing to helping the world. If you eat everything besides eggs, then you still, you are helping, you know? It's not, it's not an all or nothing kind of thing when it comes to people's compassion, you know? And people tend, even me, tend to use people's compassion against them. If you really like animals, if you really love animals, you become vegan. If you really love animals, you wouldn't eat eggs, you wouldn't eat, you wouldn't drink milk, you know? You're supporting a degradation of, of animals, you need to take the next step, okay? And I find myself doing this a lot because I'm a, I'm a bad person, but you know, I just think that people, you know, people who are vegetarian and who are pescatarian or who eat all the meats besides one are still making an impact. You know, just a little thing can make an impact. It's not an all or nothing, all or nothing kind of thing. So yeah. I am Anjali Watley, everybody, and I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan for the planet. I'm a vegan for the animals. I'm a vegan for myself. And uh, if you want to be vegan too, I will link some videos down in the description of some nice videos that I've watched that give me some information, some facts that I was like, what? what, what, what ah, ah. Like, that just like made me, you know, just think. It just makes you think, you know, about like everything that's going on in the world. So if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys. There's a car. I see you guys in another video.